I gotta move. Wait, I gotta move. Oh, this is 3-0, by the way. Remember that. I don't know who this is, by the way. This I've never even seen this name. Not even in Blitz, actually. Let's go G3. Okay, so he wants to go there. So I'm going to go D3 and E4, probably. Again, I feel like the general aim is that you want to take the center. Okay, he goes there. So I'll play E4 and Queen G1 here. I don't know if I like Bishop B6. He's giving me a lot of the center very early. I guess I'll just pre-move capture. I don't want to go E5. I think I'm going to take and just take the whole center with E5, maybe. Let's go here, maybe C3 and Bishop F3. My whole center is being held together neatly by this connect. I've got the pyramid scheme here. Or, the sorry, the pyramid triangle, not the pyramid scheme. Sorry. Um, I've got, like, the pyramid. Um, Yeah, this is MASH, right? I think that's what this is. Let's go rookie, <laughs> rookie one. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I should try to castle kingside. It's, it's hard to judge. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just said uh, <laughs> pyramid scheme. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's not, not, yeah. The great pyramid scheme, yes. I'm just going to go here in 92 maybe to hit the queen. I think I actually, rookie one was a mistake. But I, I should be better because my opponent's king is actually quite stuck here. Like, he can try to move the knight, I guess. But his knight doesn't really do much. Like, he probably wants to go this way, is my guess. He wants the castle to the king's side. But it's a very close center, so it's very hard to do that here. The Jonathan Bakalchuk. Yeah, I just, I mean, I've literally never even heard the name, so it's kind of weird. I mean, he must play a lot of Fisher Random, is all I can say. Because 2990, like, I guess I'm 3084 right now, but I never play Fisher Random except for the view, except for these events. So it's kind of odd. But let's go here, hit the queen. I guess just queen e2. Thank you to Sir T's Factory Tips for the five. Thank you to Mapeslap for the four. Luke attacks for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I mean, he's really begging me to attack him. How do I do this? C4 is obvious. I think I'm just going to do it. I don't know if it's right or wrong. Let's just go here. I mean, I'd really love to be able to castle here. It's kind of unfortunate that I that I did this. Do I go C5? I also have E6 and Knight E5. No, I think actually C5 must be right. Because I also have Knight B3. Uh, I have Knight B3, but I think I just take. Okay, he's trying to come in with his queen. I guess I'll go here, hit the queen. I'm probably going to go e6 or something. Maybe. Um, let's go a4. Knight a4, I have knight d7. If I get a5, I lever the knight, and I should win the game because of this fork. He doesn't have time to castle. I think this is game pretty much. Or no, he's got queen b4. Never mind. It's not game. Uh, let's just go here anyway and queen c3, I guess. I mean, he has castles, but I go here and I have rook b1. I should be better here. I guess rook a Actually, rook a7 is a good move. I missed that. Shoot. Okay, let's just do this. I'm way up on the clock as well. He's, this is 3-0, not 3-1. So, I mean, I should be doing very well here. Okay, take and I go here. Just there, I can check. 96 also, let's just go. If I get 95, I think I'm doing well here. I also have rook g8 maybe. Okay, I'm going to go here to hit the pawn and knight f6 maybe. Because how does he defend? I could have also taken and gone this way, but anyway. And all that glitters is gold. Okay, resigns. Let's go again. Um, This is a weird position. I think I'm going to go and try to open...
It's a very weird position. I'm trying to just play fast, which maybe is wrong. I think I'll go e4, maybe f3. I mean, it's a very weird position because the kings are kind of castles here. The bishops have very weird diagonals in this game. I think I'm just going to take the center. And I have bishop g4. I've always believed that you can't really play these sorts of openings um, in in 960 where you just give your opponent, like, you try to play like the Ali Atkins defense and things like that. I really don't think you're able to play like that generally. So um, if I use that as my, as my basis, as the baseline, then I mean then this should be very good for me it was 97 looks like a weird move i kind of want to take but i kind of want to go here on bishop b4 and let's go let's go here and hit the knight Probably going to play f4, f5. This looks really bad for black, but I, I don't know for sure. Because f5, I mean... Wait, first I have bishop b4. Second, I can... I think I just take. The structure looks too soft to me, optically. The structure looks too soft. How do I punish him? This, this doesn't look... Oh, he wants the castle. Okay, so I guess I'll go... Let's go here. I'm just going to stop him from castling. Now I'm just developing my knight. I actually, I can castle queenside even at some moment if I want to. He can only go kingside, so I should be better here. I mean, rookie one, and then I, uh, there's g4, but I mean, I also have knight e5 here. I don't know, I, maybe I should go on with the other knight. I missed bishop h5, that was a good move. Take with the knight or pawn, I'm going to take with the pawn. Because I also have knight f4. I also have g4. Goes rook h6. Kind of expect... Oh, is he going to try to castle? No, but you can't castle. King goes through a check. So he can't actually castle either way. I can take... Hmm. I don't really want to take. Maybe I should... Hmm. Okay, let's just go here. Because I don't believe he can castle because the king has to go through a check, Right? So I don't think he can go, I don't think he can go, oh wait, no, he can't go long no matter what. It's the wrong rook. What, what am I smoking? I, I thought he could castle queenside, but the rook's on h8. He can't castle this way. The rook has to be on this side of the king. Okay. Okay, I think I just take now and go check. <laughs> Why not g4? Because he could just move the bishop back. Although I'm, I should be good. I've got to be careful here because he does have a target on h2 if I castle the rook and it's no longer defending. Like if the rook goes here, then there's a target. Okay, this is a little bit too bold, I think. I mean, I'm just going to go here and win the rook. And at the right moment, I mean, I'm just going to castle. But not yet. Just go check and take. I mean, this rook is very sad on h6. I mean... I mean... <laughs> He's begging to get checkmated here. Let's go check. Wait, there must be a mate here, right? Can I be really mean? I'm just going to be really mean and go king f2. Oh, wait, no, this is checkmated too. All right, yeah, it's checkmated too. Okay, let's go again. Okay, let's play Bernard Stroming. Okay, we got a similar position. Bishops are weird. I don't like this position because there's a quick castle involved, so it could peter out into something very normal very, very quickly. I think of Vivek P for the eighth thing, of Turd Ferguson for the prime, they of Justin Mo for the prime, the Singing Nerd for the prime, Surtees for the Gift of Sub, and Leo Versur for the prime. Thank you so much. I can go F4 and maybe just Knight F3 and castles, I guess. I think I'm going to go. I don't know. I'm going to go b3 and bishop c3, maybe. You know, we're both, we both have the same idea in mind, kind of. Is b4 really a threat? Maybe, but I'm not too concerned. I'm just going to castle anyway. 
Let's develop the knight. Maybe get the knight to g3. I mean, knight d4. I guess knight g3 wants b4, a4. I guess I'll just go a3. Why not? Let's develop the knight back. He'll probably go knight d7 is my guess. We both have kind of weird bishops. Not great, not terrible. These two bishops are very weirdly placed. So I'm going to develop my bishop. He'll probably develop, I guess, d5. I don't really like d5. I feel like I should have some tactics here. Knight d4, knight e3, takes and rook g1. I also have rookie f3, I just realized, to hit the knight. Goes knight six. I have f5 to go for the steamroll. Let's just go for the steamroll. Let's try to steamroll him on the uh, on the king side here. Now I have e6. I also have knight f5. I don't want to take with this one because I'm going to give him d4. e6 looks so attractive here. I don't know. It looks too attractive to pass up. Okay, ignores it. I kind of expect that. Now, at some moment, I, I do. Do I have e7 and knight f5, maybe, or do I just take? Whatever. Let's just let's just take and take. So I'm gonna sauce him on g7. D4, bishop d4, bishop g2. I think it works. I think it works, but we'll see. Knife on f5 is always very, very valuable here. Oh, wait, am I stupid? I'm just, I blundered. Did, did I blunder? Oh, I, th I did blunder, actually. <laughs> I thought I could take and take, but he's over defending it. What am I doing? Oh, that's really stupid of me. Although maybe I can still play it like a Danya. Let's go for it. Let's play it like a Danya. I don't even know if it's good, but I'm going to play it like a Danya. It's probably too early to play like this, but we'll see. Suspect it's way too early to play like this, but I think it's fine, actually. It's risky playing like this. If he can defend this, I'm probably going to lose. Now, first of all, I have 96. Second, I can take. I think I'm just going to take and go for a double. But that doesn't really concern me because, first of all, I, I mean, first of all, I can sack with Rook F6. Secondly, I can play knight e6, and I think I will, actually. Just hit the rook, and he takes, and I just take with my rook. I mean, this must be winning with bishop f3 as well. Okay, goes there. Okay, I just take and take. Check here and then just block. Yeah, it's just game over. Thank you to Matthias Bazas for the four months dot table for the 420. Play C4. Um Oh, this, is, this guy's 2144. I just need to move fast. Like, no, like no nonsense. Just go fast. He's going to go bishop h2. And I'm probably going to play f6. So let's go here. Maybe f5. Let's go here. Stop c5. I can play e4. I think I will, actually. So I can take and go, like, knight c5. Ooh, this looks really bad, actually. There's a big, big backwards pawn on d2. Let's go here. Um, let's go here and target this pawn. This actually is really falling apart fast for white. Play c5. I will just take. Let's just take and go back, I guess. I also have d5. This is just game over, pretty much. Go back at the pawn. I think he might have just resigned this in a second. This is already very close to lost. If not, just lost outright. Thank you to XX Death Jr. XX for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
Um, let's just keep building our fortress in the center. Just take. Okay, I'm going to go here to go queen b6 to avoid any weird stuff with bishop h2. Yeah, exactly. Now I just close this diagonal. If he plays f4, I just go back. Let's go here, a4, maybe a rook lift even is in the, in the cards here. Okay, Exotic Princess. So we played Joe Baba now in 960. I guess I'll go here. Getting a lot of weird bishop setups, I'm noticing. Let's go here. Problem is this is actually headed for something very dry. Okay, let's try to exchange some bishops here. Okay, I can play bishop e5 maybe. I'll also just go c4. Don't really want to trade, but I'm going to do it and go here. I'm play h4. Let's see if he goes h5 or not. Goes h6. Okay, I'll play h5. I mean, at some point, maybe I'm going to castle queen, so I don't know. I'm just going to go c4, though, and build the center as much as I can. Just take a rook d1, I guess. Okay, I'm obviously castling king side now, so that much is clear. I can not play e4. Just go here. Maybe slight. I know this pawn h5 is a little bit weak, but I think the position's about balanced. Maybe I go e4. Takes with a knight. Kind of expected that. Pretty dry, actually. Very dry. Uh, actually, I have this move to hit the rook. Maybe e4. Knight b4. I kind of thought he might do that. I can obviously take, but I'm going to just go here for now. Knight, and so now do I take or do I just keep building? I think I probably just keep trying to stack my pieces correctly. Goes queen b5. That's a good move. Um, let's take. Not thrilled with my position here. It's actually not what I was hoping for. Let's go rook d1. Oh, I hung up on an h5, I just realized. Although maybe I have some weird e5 to trap the rook on the edge. So 5 rook d8. Just completely forgot that was a move. I guess I take and take and go like e5 maybe. So g4 is a huge threat. He has to go over and then I go rook d8. Let's just do this one. Misplayed this very badly. Ah. <sighs> How do I play? I'm also way down on time again. Like every game against Jobava lately, I'm down like 10 minutes on the clock for some unknown reason. How do I do this? I guess I'll go here. Got to move faster. Let's go here. Let's go. Oh, he's got Bishop C5. Yikes. Didn't even see Bishop C5 as a move here. Well, maybe it's still playable. Okay, it goes that way. So, of course, I just take g4. Guessing I go here and I go king f1. The good news is it's it's uh, it's an offside pawn. Like, I can go here and try to take advantage, but tough position. Go here. Goes rook d2, so of course I go here to hit the pawn. Hey, Shadow Teco, thank you so much. Appreciate the two months. Thank you, Travis Carter Gibson, for the tier one. 
and go here. Okay, now I think I just, ah, uh, he wants bishop h4, he wants h4. Okay, whatever, I have to take. Three king g1, whatever, let's just go for it. If I lose, I lose, that's life. I just realized I blundered rook d1 too. Or maybe I didn't, actually. Yeah, I just threw this. Yeah. Okay. He could have. He could have. He could. He could have probably take gone rook c two, but it's a draw. It's not a big deal. Thank you to quick check for the tier one. Thank you so much to quick check. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's go c four here. Um. I'm gonna play f three to open up the diagonal. Yeah. Draw is fine because I was in really bad shape that game. Dude, Elvis for the gift of sub. Thank you so much. Let's go D5, maybe E4. Take the center as much as I can. I don't think I'm going to go E4, though. I think I'm going to actually try to... Hmm. Let's get extravagant. Last time I tried to be extravagant in, in an Arena Kings, it did not work out well against Eric Hansen, but I'm going to try again to be extravagant. Let's go... Yeah, last time I tried to be extravagant like this, it really didn't work out, but maybe I'll make it work. Like, I'm trying to be extravagant. I bet I'm going to lose again because of it. Why can't I just play good chess? Okay, let's go here in 93, maybe. Are, yeah, I'm trying to be extravagant and play, like, non-standard kind of exciting random chess. Let's go here. I mean, it's actually not so bad, objectively. I'm not. I'm not that worried about my position now. It was much worse. Now I think it's completely fine because I, I gripped the light squares. And I'm going to get like bishop f2, bishop h4. Actually, you know what? No, wait, I can't take it. Let's go here. I want to go knight e4 and target the pawn on, on um. Okay, let's go here, bishop h4. I think I can go queen g6 maybe. No, but I, I've got I've actually achieved what I want. I've got a pretty decent position here, so let's just go here. He can take the pawn, but I'm just gonna move my king up or castle even. Let's just castle. I'll give him this pawn if he wants it. But if I get knight f five or queen g six, I mean it looks really bad. Let's go. Let's go here. Try to trade some rooks. His bishop on c seven is actually really quite bad behind the pawn wall. I'll just take and go like here. Try to force a trade of queens now. Because on these terms, my knights are great. I'm going to get an open file as well. I mean, he can go queen e8, I guess. But that looks really extravagant by him now. Just take, because I have this with the fork. And now I think his position is about to collapse. Thank you to Loiting for the prime. Tia as well. Thank you to Pitman. Thank you so much. Just take and go here. I can even go rook b1, but I think I'm just going to go here. Just be really, really precise about this. Really technical. Let's be surgical. Yeah, he just resigns. Really, really gross position there. Okay, we're going to play Jonathan again. Let's see. What's he going to do here? This b4. Okay, I got to stop the threat. Um, don't want to go b5. I think I'm just going to go c6. Maybe 
I actually don't think I can take the, as much of the center as I want to. So let's go here. Okay, now I'm going to go d5. Did I give him knight f5 or something? I think I did. Shoot. Takes. Yeah, I actually have blundered here. Like, how do I do this, actually? Do I just take and give him a pawn? What do I do here? Okay, let's just take. I'm going to go here. Oh, he misses it. He had knight f5, which was really good. He completely misses the idea. Um, I think I'm going to go here, maybe, and just try to castle my way out of this danger. If he goes there, I'll go back. Oh, but this was even worse. This might have been even worse than what I just did. Let's take. I can castle, right? Let's castle. It's not so bad, actually. I think he forgot that I could castle. Let's go here. I could have also traded. I don't know why I didn't just trade. And castle. So I'm just going to bring my other knight in now. I actually like my position quite a bit. It's pretty good. Bishop c4 is actually a move that, again, I did not see. For, some, for whatever reason, I didn't see it. Let's go here. Let's go here and queen b8, I guess. Thank you to Eddie for the three. Thank you to Jinko Jank for the eight. Fake Jim asks if he can castle. Good one. Um, what's this move? I go here. Here I have bishop e5. You can go bishop b6 maybe. Looks quite reasonable. Maybe just rook d8. Try to play in the center of the board here. Let's go rook d8. Maybe I go e5 and build a chain even. I want to go e5. He wants to go a5. e5, a5, bishop d4, c3. Not thrilled by it. This is so bad. No, let's just do it. I don't even know if it's right, but I'm going to play it. So he takes, I can just take, or even take e3 and f2. Okay, I think I'm just going to drop the bishop back now to keep an eye on the diagonal. And maybe I play e5 at some moment. I have rook b8. I can also just go like knight b4 maybe. And e5 next move. c3, I get knight d3. If takes, I just go knight d5. Wait, I have bishop d4 here. Wait, let's go here. Did he trap his queen? Queen c4, e5. His queen, he just trapped his queen. Or no, he's got queen b3. Never mind. Should not have done this either. <sighs> Gave him f5. Not good. Well, I guess I take and go queen a7, or do I go back? I want to go here. I've got to move a little bit quicker. Queen c5. You can obviously trade. Don't want to trade. I'm just going to go h5, try to create weaknesses here. 96, 95 takes, takes. Okay, let's just go back, be simple. Let's go here, reroute the knights, hold the glue. Maybe queen d4 is a threat in a move or two. Let's go here. I threaten this, I threaten that, I rook b8. Okay, so now I take, so I take with a knight. I have knight f4 threats. I'll stay with the queen, bishop d5. I should be winning. He's also got just no time here. Let's take. Let's just take with a bishop. No nonsense here. Just finish off the game in style. Let's go here. Take with a pawn. Let's 
Queen of five G six. Okay, check, and that's game over. Oh, he moved. Okay, let's go check. You're going to play Tregubov. Okay. And this is actually, by the way, this is the husband of, um, of Alexander Kostanyuk. Uh, he's a Russian GM living in France. Don't like my position. I think I kind of have to play symmetrical here. Don't, I really don't like playing symmetrical, but the, the assortment of the, is like just the Bishop and the queen, right? Bishop, queen, king, weird position. Let's go here. I think I play E6, I have B6 and C6. Don't know. Okay, it goes ninety three, so I'll go here. This actually looks way too much like a normal game. Okay, let's just let's just open up the center of the board here, I guess. One D five, I don't like my position, yeah. Yeah. Okay, it goes queen f two. I don't feel like he's playing this great though. I mean I feel like I can take I mean, I can obviously, I think I'm just going to take and go like, let's go here, target the pawn. I have queen b4, maybe. I also have knight h5, which I, I just realized was a move. Anyway, the show must go on. Um, let's just go back, I guess. I want to go queen b4 or something. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm doing something. Let's hit the pawn on d3. I mean, I guess white can always castle, right? Because now that we've moved the queens, both sides can just castle, which I think there's a good chance he's forgotten that we can, that I can just castle and he can just castle too. Just go here and hit the bishop. Okay, bishop d6. I mean, I can play queen a6 here. I thought I was going to go knight b6, actually, but I think I'll just go here to hit the bishop. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm playing this very well for whatever reason. I have e5, queen g6, way too bold. Um, I'm just going to trade bishops. Let's go here and force the bishops off. He goes knight c5, so I take. He can take with a pawn. Actually, I think I go back now and I try to, try to hit him on f4 with this uh, skewer. Play e5. How do I play this? So I should be better, but f5 e. Wait, f5 c6 rook e8. No, probably I. I should just castle. Just, just no nonsense. Just castle the king out of the middle. I'm play e5. Maybe queen g6. Maybe f5 f4 at some moments. Actually, this is not really what I was hoping for. I also forgot he was c6, but I have rook e8. There's rookie one. I'll play uh, rookie eight. Probably I have to go rook d8 because he's going to go bishop b3 at some point to try and open up the diagonals. Goes e2. Strange square. I'm going to go d4 now because now he loses the diagonal to, to use the bishop on. Let's just go back. I'm going to go knight d5. No f4s because my pawns are good. Let's just go here. Also, he's way down on time as well. Just go here. He's going to try to go bishop g2, I guess. Let's go f5. Let's just attack. He's low on the clock. Let's go f4. Oh, I actually, I could have taken this pawn, I realized. Anyway, I get the bastion on e3. It's like the classic uh, diamond. He's also kind of running out of time here. 
Um, I'm going to take this way. I don't know if it's actually right, but it makes some sense to go rook d4, maybe queen c6. Let's go here. Queen f7, queen c6, I guess. I can obviously take on g3 at some point. I'm just going to play rook f8 here. g4, h5. Okay, let's go. Let's go h5. Because if he takes, I take, and then I... Okay. Yeah, I guess I, I mean, I can obviously take, but I'm going to go, let's go here, actually. Let's be sneaky. Let's go here. Let's still be sneaky because I have rookie two. Um, let's just go here and win the game. Thank you to BD149159 for the four months. Thank you so much. BD149159. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All right, what are we at? We're at 23, so we're, we're doing fine. It, we're doing fine considering how early in the, the event we are. Um, not really worried about Bortnik yet. I, I mean, everyone's going to draw games, lose games somewhere. Pairings do matter, obviously. Let's go here, play a Sicilian, use the diagonals. Is there a threat? There is a threat, right? Target's that. So I'm going to go F6. Be careful that I don't get some kind of checkmated here, but I think it's okay. Let's go here. Maybe I go D5. I really want to go G6 and... Um, Let's go here. Point is, I, I've got to dominate this knight. Now let's go here. I might go knight g5, even h5 is an idea. Okay, that doesn't look right. Let's go here. Let's hit the bishop. Now I have h5, or knight h6 actually as well. I guess I'll just develop my knights. I guess he's going to have to go this way now. So I'm going to have to look for ways to attack um, attack his king like b5 and open up this, this side of the board. Okay, now he's got a bad pawn structure, but I still can't really punish him. So I'm going to try to trade the bishops and further work the... Uh, let's, let's, let's further massage the center, this, this weak pawn at f3. Uh, here? Wait, I think he's just losing now. Yeah, we, we, we just, yeah, we're, we're massaging the center of the board. Let's just go check and game over. Let's keep going. There should be some kind of mod appreciation appreciation day on Twitch. Totally, yeah. Mods make up the uh, mods are the true unsung heroes of Twitch. Like honestly, they're the people who keep the communities together, who who help out so much, and like they oftentimes get forgotten in the midst of everything. It's it's very true, actually. Like like mods are the backbone. Without mods, Twitch would not be even be like anything near what it is today. Um, I'm gonna go here. Good D3. I mean, some get paid, yes. I mean, obviously, that goes without saying. But I'm just saying, in, in general terms, like, they're, they're, they really are the unsung heroes when all is said and done. Let's play E4. Let's go E4, D4. Thank you to Godawa for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's take with a pawn. I don't even know if I like this. Actually, I kind of don't like this. What am I doing? I didn't get my center. That's the problem. Pawn. let's go here let's develop our bishops i'm gonna probably go bishop h3 it's actually a very symmetrical kind of game unfortunately okay i'm gonna go here okay so he moved the rook so he can't castle important to note by the way that because he moved the rook and he can't castle now he can only go this way but he can't actually castle so it's important to keep that in mind because i can still castle both ways although actually the rook stops me from castling too i can't i can't castle long castle the king side because i would castle through the check I was a ninja mod for many years before he hit it big. Shortly after becoming huge, I was gone. I know about being a forgotten mod. Oh, that's brutal, man. Sorry. That, that's uh, Sorry to hear that. Being a mod is like being a customs officer. You do your job well and nobody likes you. Oh, man. That's brutal. Okay, let's take the juicer. Let's go. Wait. Actually, this is not great. I thought I was better. Um, 
thought I had something here, but I guess I just don't. So I have to go back. Oh man, I'm going to go. I'm going to try something. I don't know if this works, but I'm going to try. Oh, he's got Bishop G C4. Yikes. Let's go here. I still, he can't castle. It's very important. I think I can castle because my king is already through the check. So if I get rook d1 and I castle, I should be winning. Because I'm just up a pawn in the center. Let's go here. But I think I can castle. We'll see. Can I? Oh, no. I played rook d1. I put the rook on the wrong square. Shoot. Uh, Yeah, of course I can't castle for a move. What am I thinking even? Let's go here. Let's go here. Try to trade some bishops maybe. I'm going to go here. I mean, now he can castle, can't he? He doesn't do it. Okay. Um, I really do want to castle. I really don't like my position. But all right, let's just go here and king b2, I guess. Okay, let's just trade. I'm up a pawn, so I should be fine here. Thank you to the King Dune for the sixth day of Barry LOL for the Prime. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Oh, is there a mod day? Really? Okay. Yeah, castling in 960 is pretty bizarre. It's bizarro. Um, let's go here, I guess. I want to move my knight, maybe reroute it to d4 or f4. Let's just go this way. Okay, I think I... Oh, bishop d5. Is that a good move or a bad move? I. Let's go here and force a trade of queens. Thank you to eat to Sufa for the four months. I have War Zombie for the three bucks. Thank you so much, War Zombie. Okay, I have to be careful here. Let's just go here and bring the king in. And now I have check, and I should be winning because now my pawn will be released to where it can push to e5. Uh, Bortnik lost or drew a game here, so let's go check. Let's go check and take. The problem for black is that the... Uh, let's go here. I don't even know if a3 is the best move, but... Let's go here and here and king c6. Let's keep pushing. His knight is actually getting kind of trapped down here. Just go here, I guess. Okay, I'm going to go back here. Let's go here. I, mean, I can probably run the king. Or why did I do that? Let's go here. Let's go here, collect, and now it's pretty clean. Let's go here in bishop g7, I guess. Sometimes. Let's go here in d5. Sorry if I'm bouncing you guys, but I do actually need to use the restroom. So, let's go here. Do I go now during the game or do I wait is the question. Um, I'm going to go now. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. Sound is still good, right? Let me just make sure. Sound is still good, right, you guys? Sound didn't change, did it? Okay, let's just castle. Let's go here and here. Of course, the thing is, white can't castle either, so it's a safe pre move. I should have taken. Why didn't I just take it? Okay, let's go here. And the problem is that white can castle. Okay, yeah, I mean, what did I just do? Let's go in with rookie eight.
Hit the pawn. Shoot. That was a big mistake. I should not have done that during this game. Especially because I'm way down the clock. I want to get this. What is that? Queen d4? Let's go rook d8. That was a mistake. I have knight a4 now. Let's go here and here. Knight a4 to queen b3, so it was no good. I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's the right move, but I'm going to do it. Try to complicate the situation. Although I've almost gotten back even on time, which is important. Can I just take and take? I'm going to go for it. I don't know if it works. Because d3 is hanging. So if he goes here, here, rook a4, I have knight b5. I also have rook a6 maybe as well. Let's do this and this. Don't know if it's the best move, but I feel like if I get the rook in, I can use the open line. So the double stack is bad, but it's playable. I guess I'll pre-move this. It's it's a safe pre-move. I'll pre-move it. But now I go here in rook b2, and now it gets very tricky for my opponent. Let's go check. I'm going to go c4 and try to run my king back. I should have gone to d7. Why didn't I go to d7? Let's go here, force a trade. But now my king's on the wrong square in this line. Let's go here. King should be on d7 here, not d8. That was a huge mistake by me. I still think I'm going to win the game. He's just too slow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this game, I think. Let's go here, hit both pawns. Well, that's a free, that, now this must be winning. I've got a five and now I just take, 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 and I win. we go we're gonna get the dub important let's keep going thank you crew chest for the prime and i'm joking for the prime thing grandmaster gus for the uh, 1000 bits thank you so much appreciate it thank you okay let's just play d4 oh this is tom Shevsky. i didn't even look to see who i was playing hopefully it's not a bad move uh let's go c4 and open this up actually drop back this actually looks very, very pleasant. F3 guards the pawn. I have E4, D5. Do I build the center or not is a question. I think I don't. I think I just go here. And I look to play E4, but I need I need to do it in a spot where I can go knight E3 and castle. Um, is that a threat? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. Actually, let's just develop the knight here. I can take the center with e4 knight e3 at some moment. Okay, he does play f6. Now, I do have bishop c2 if I want it, but I think I'll just go e4 here. Let's go here in castles. I guess I just go here. There are no threats. Just develop the bishop. Develop the rook, play knight c5. Looks very, very pleasant. Have a nice center. A lot of piece play. Not bad. Knight c5 is a move. I think I'm just going to go here in g3, h4 maybe. My knight is not actually greatly placed. Don't even think this is right either, but we keep going.
Bit of a standoff situation. Neither side has a lot of play here. Can play knight c5. I think I actually, no, knight a5 hangs a pawn. What am I, oh, I've got this, of course. Yeah, I've got this. Yeah, he's got that. I keep wanting to go knight a5 for some reason. Let's go here. Maybe I can try to line him up with queen a2 and something on this diagonal, possibly. Thank you to Nit Nalkajem for the prime. Thank you so much. Um, he's begging me to play knight c5 here. I don't think I have a choice now. Yeah, I don't really have a choice. I have to do it. So I do have queen a2 tricks, maybe b4, b5 even. So knight c7, logical. Let's go b4, b5. Knight e6, rook c4. B5 could be a problem. Okay, it goes A6. So I'll drop my rook back. Maybe go to D3 here. Do have knight E... Actually, knight E3 looks attractive, but maybe not best because knight E6, but then knight C2. There's also a knight G4 threat here, which is what I'm banking on. Take surprising. Okay, let's go here. Fairly dry position, but white should be slightly better due to the knight bishop center situation. Should be better for white. Maybe I go a5 and d5, actually. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, let's go a5 because I want to go d5 and bishop b6 here. Let's go queen d2. Oh, but now you have knight c7. Yeah, see, this is exactly why I should not have done this. But he missed bishop b6. I think he thought he could just move his queen here. But bishop b6 is going to be a huge problem now. Because now I hit the rook. I guess he does have this. Hmm. It should still be better. But there's a very going to be a very long end game that I have to try to win now. Let's go. Not queen c4. I guess I don't really want to play h4. I think I'll play f4 here. Wait, but now I have e5 and queen g6. Wait, this should be winning now somehow. Maybe just e6. I have bishop b6. I mean, his king is so compromised here. I'm also threatening queen d7 too. Wait, that's a big mistake. He missed queen d7. And now this should be winning. I just have to play this correctly. Let's go... Let's go here. I'm going to go king h4 and king g5. I'm just going to sneak my king up the board and, and win. I'm just going to go for a qu quick little little king walk up and gobble his pawns. And he's actually kind of stuck. He just resigns. There's nothing he can do here. So he goes knight c3. I go queen d4. I hit the knight and I checkmate him. So it's just Zug's Vaughn. Okay, let's keep going. We're playing FM Dejano. What's going on here? Let's see. If he plays d4. Okay, let's go... Mm, let's take part of the center too with d5 because I can play knight d6 maybe. I'm going to go here to stop the knight jumps and maybe play a5, maybe knight d6. Pretty solid. Let's go here. I want to stop e4. Okay. I'm going to develop my bishop. I don't know if this is good, but it looks kind of wonky and wild. Put pressure on the diagonal maybe. Let's go here and reroute my knight, maybe. Because my knight's stuck in the edge. There's no jump. So I played this to stop that. So now I need to use my knight back towards the center. Let's go here. I think I'm going to go f6, queen f7, and castle. i got to get my king out of the center here, kind of. Let's go a5, maybe a4, maybe queen f7 next move, depending. I can also maybe move the knight, go here and castle queen side. Oh, that looks very random. Uh, let's go here. Maybe queen f7. Knight f4. That's a slightly wrong move. So I have a4, knight c4. Okay, but now I go here. Okay. 
Bishop's under attack, pawn's under attack on b2. Sharp game. He has knight d3 to play e4. How do I play this as the problem? Because now I can't really control the center. I'm going to go back to stop e4. Let's drop back. Oh, he's got queen h3. Then I have f5. Very scary. So maybe I might have gotten lucky because f5 stops all his threats. And now my knight's going back to e4 maybe. Okay, let's just go. Um, I have g5. That's a wild, no, g5 stupid. Let's go, let's go here. I'm probably gonna end up casting my king to the queen side, I think. Well, I'm really not sure anything's possible here. Let's go to a3, that strikes me as a bad move. Yeah, because now I think I'm actually gonna try to maybe attack and let's go here. I might castle to the queen side now. It goes g4. I think he's forgetting that I can castle castle queenside because I'm, I'm gonna go queenside pretty soon. I think he's forgetting that I can castle. I'm gonna go queenside in a second. I didn't move my rook, did I? Because it was on d1. It was we started on d1. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna go long. Oh, I can't go. Wait, but I can go g5 and no, I can't do it. Very sneaky. Let's go h6 and g5 instead. Oh, I actually, I can't, no way. I, yeah, I can't castle here because even the rook's on d8, I have to move the king through the d8 square to get there and it's through a check. So that's why I'm going h6 and g5. It's probably a good move. I'm going to go here and takes. Thank you, Tello Tolumbi for the, for the, uh, for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Just go f4, keep building. If e3, I go f3 and trap the knight because the pawn dominates it. Okay, it goes f3. Let's go, I don't know, let's just go here. Takes, takes. Okay, takes with a bishop, so let's go rook e8. I think I'll go king g6 here, guard the pawn. The knight's dominated as well again. Just go here and bishop e4 maybe. Bad knight, very bad knight. Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's go here. It's gonna fall fall apart very quickly for white. Thank you to o Ooze Blanco for the two months. Thank you so much to Ooze Blanco. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Can we get a this is the first like really harsh pairing we've had in a while since I played um so I played, uh, let's go here. Since I played um, Exotic Princess or Javava some, some games ago. Okay, F4. Let's go here, maybe D5. He's trying to use my strat, basically take the whole center. Hmm. I'm going to go here and develop this way, maybe. I don't know if it makes sense. Let's go here. I'm going to develop my knight to D4. Put the other knight out. Maybe a6, let's just develop. Okay, queen e1. I can play a6 maybe. I, actually, I should probably just develop here. Why am I getting too creative? There's no need. Goes d3. Okay, so now I have a6 for sure. Let's go a6. Let's go here. I want to go b5. a5, I think I have bishop d8, no? Or do I have queen c7? Wait a second. Let's just go here. I might even castle long here, potentially. He's got f5, bishop d6, maybe. Very sharp position. Want to hit the pawn. I also have to stop this idea, so I use my bishop from behind the pawn wall to stop this idea to, to hit all my pieces. Arena Kings is, uh, I think anyone can play an Arena Kings, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, now the question is, do I take the pawn also? Or do I just castle? I'm just going to take it. I don't see a trick here, so... I mean, he's probably going to get, he's probably going to get a grab. Oh, he found a trick. Wow. Oh, that's a nice trick. I didn't see that. Shoot. Okay. Hmm. 
That was a big mistake by me. I'm going to... I mean, I guess I can still go long. I'm probably going to go... Did I just blunder this or something? I might have just blundered bishop f6, but I think I have queen h5 to save it. Okay, it takes... I mean, yeah, I'm just going to castle here and just try to play chess. Miss this idea. First of all, I can... Well, I can take, I can also just go like, just take, what am I doing? Just gonna gambit upon, I guess, and play rook c8. Misplayed this. But it's still very much a game. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just lost. This is actually pretty bad. I have 97, so he takes with a knight. I guess I go rookie 8. Misplayed this. Very badly misplayed this. Okay, whatever. It's still early in the event. It's not the end of the world if I lose this game. Although Big Fish just won another game, which is a problem. Got careless. Should not have grabbed that queenside pawn. If I don't grab that queenside pawn, I probably win this game. Have to move quick. The only way that I'm going to win this game or not lose is if I move fast and get a time edge. I'm happy to see d5, though, because now, I mean, now I get some counterplay, at least. Oh, he's got queen takes. He misses it. But actually, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. I might resign this game soon. I guess, no, I should probably play it out. He's got 50 seconds. I should play it out. Because it's still still an hour in the event. No, no need to start metag metagaming it yet. Oh, does this actually just win for him? Maybe it does. Oh, I gotta I gotta go. What am I doing? I think I might have just gotten lucky. Oh, I don't, I don't win. Oh my gosh. I don't win. I flubbed it. I thought I won by a tempo. I, I lose by one, one tempo. I shouldn't, I actually could have waited longer there. I need an Xil for the prime. Give me water. I should have waited there. Oh, I mean, I misplayed that. Let's go e4. Mm, whatever. Whatever. And I lost a lot of time there with that. That's going to be the hopefully the last loss of the night. Because I should not have lost the game. I was much better than I grabbed that pawn in a5, which was a huge mistake. I, I would have won that game if I hadn't grabbed that pawn. If I had played positionally, I would have won that. Very, very bad. Okay. Got to move fast. Just move fast. Again, now that I lost the game, I, I need to speed it up quite a bit. Big Fish is on a big streak, too. 46, yeah. Oh, he's got more games. 12 out of 14, higher volume. Okay, let's castle. Give him this. Should have played B3 first. Okay, I'll play B3 to blunt the knight. So bad. Take with this pawn, I guess. Let's go here and here. Let's go here, ninety four. I should win this one quickly, but it's it's a it's a problem that Big Fish has so many points. Let's go H A G four. 
Do I go g4 or knight e4? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Let's just go g4. Let's go here. I want to go f5. Just like, oh my god. Oh, wait, no, he takes up knight g5. I actually blundered f4, but I have knight g5. Sketchy? No, no, he's a good player. He should be an IM. I don't know why he doesn't have a title yet, but whatever. And I guess I can just take and go f5. I don't know. I'm probably playing too fast in this game, but let's keep going. Let's go here and trade. I could also could have gone e6, but whatever. Want to win this game quickly. Go a4, maybe kick the knight here, knight g5, maybe. Okay, let's start running the pawns of the board here. I've got a big advantage of 4v2. H5, I saw that as a move. I didn't think that was a good move for some reason. But of course, it makes nothing but complete sense. What am I doing? Okay, let's just check and take, I guess. I hope your card doesn't leave too much energy in this event because tomorrow starts the real event. Um, I mean, this is Arena Kings. Like, it's two hours, and I have a lot of time to recover. Let's go. Uh, I almost, did I just almost blunder here? Okay. Let's just take. Let's go back. I, I, I have this check again. Uh, let's go check. Knight g3, maybe? I have knight g4. There's no maid. Shoot. Go here. Uh, that runs into this check, I believe. What was that? I mean, what was that? I just blundered again. Not good, but it's a win. It's That was a terrible game, but it's a win. Not a good game at all. Thank you, Smiley Parrot, for the Prime. Lucas Correa for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Oh, why did I... Oh, uh, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I just pre-move? Maybe not so bad though. It's actually a pretty decent position. Let's go here, maybe bishop g3. Maybe knight a5 even. Just go knight a5 and go all in on this pawn. Have to develop. Oh my gosh, I just wonder knight d5. Oh wow. 
Oh my gosh, now I just want a knight c3. He misses it. Gotta to, got to really zone this back a little bit. Now I'm just blundering. What am I down? I'm down a pawn here. Let's go here, hit the bishop. Let's go here, collect the rook. Thank you to Gucci Stylesberger for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate Gucci. Thank you. I'm going to win, I think, but man, terrible opening. If check, I just block. Check king f1. I don't think there are any tricks here. Check king f1. I don't see any tricks at least, so I should be winning here. Let's go here, kick the knight out of there. Guess I, I probably need to run my king in. It's a good move. I missed that. Okay, let's go. Let's go here, I guess, and king d1. This knight is really good on f4 now. I guess I'll just go here and take. I had 94 also, I guess, but this looks fine. Let's take the open file. The rooks are very good on open files. Let's go into rook. Rook c8 is an idea. Rook h8 is an idea. Or no, rook h8 is not an idea because the bishop covers that square. Let's go here. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. Should be winning now. Just take. Just run this pawn up the board. Okay, let's go again. Oh, is it is it is the viewer number just going up and down? Like, okay, let's go here. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is V Pranav again. It's not. Okay. Let's think. I'm going to take. I have D3. Play F4. Let's go here. Open up the double diagonals. I'll go here. Back to G8. That looks like a bad move. Let's go here. I'm willing to gambit a pawn because I have tricks with rook d1. He takes it anyway, really. I'm sure I had some tactics here somehow. But I don't. I'm just playing this terribly again. What am I doing? I'm trying too hard to create a, create a mess. That doesn't really worry me that much, I guess. Just run the king out. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm just throwing another game. <sighs> Let's go here on queen d2. I do have a check. Check in a chair. Let's go check. Doesn't even do anything though, unfortunately. Let's go. He has to take. Oh, can you even do this? What the fridge am I doing this game? Just throwing for no reason. Two in a row that I've just literally thrown for no good reason. Completely insane. Why did I do that? Didn't even see that really for some reason. Do I just resign this or not? Yeah, I just threw this for no reason. Why did I do that? I guess I'm a. I sh no, I'm just gonna resign. I don't. I don't want to waste time. I think I'm gonna lose that game anyway. I'm just gonna waste time. I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna waste time. I have to resign just to save time. I blundered terribly there. 
Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm still in the. I'm still very much in the tournament with 43 minutes, but the problem is it's Fisher random, so it gets harder to win. Yeah, I just threw that game. Literally, I just. I'm playing too fast every opening now. I'm trying to play too fast. No, I mean, I. It's it's not a big deal. I mean, I'll, I'll probably beat him in, when we play again next game. But let's go here. If I get a quick win here, it's important though. A quick win here is very important. Um, again, I feel like there's. It's got to be something here, but I'm not seeing it. Let's go here. I'm also moving too fast again. Whatever, let's just do it. I don't care. He's moved his king already, right? So he can't. I'm just moving too fast. Trying to win these games in like two seconds instead of playing good chess. Like even this game, I'm literally moving in like 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Yeah, this time usage is awful. Let's go here. Go here. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm still moving way too fast, even here. I'm just trying too hard to win this game in like two seconds instead of just playing the position. I mean, this was unnecessary. Okay, let's go here. Let's just go here, and hopefully, I go queen b7. He's moving fast too. He's kind of obliging me. Do I have a rook f2 check? Rook e2? Don't think it works. Let's move fast. Still nothing. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Force b5, knight f5. I don't think it's a good variant to play in general. Let's go here. Should be a win now. Resigns. Okay, that's that's nice. I get a quick win at least. I need like two more eighteen hundreds to get in the running. Two more like eighteen hundreds, just like quick wins, and then it's a, then it's game on. Or I can play Joe Bob instead, which is going to take up a lot of time. I might just gamble here, move fast, and hope that he blunders. I'm just going to gamble here. Try to move fast and hope that he blunders. H5. That's pretty logical. Um, Let's go for it. It's probably terrible, but let's go for it. He's got D4. Why did I do this? Yeah, I'm, uh, now now my, my quick play is going to cost me dearly because now my king is on a terrible square. Although maybe I can manually castle again. Let's go here. I'm kind of playing the game still. Thank you, Letter Rose Dan, for the two months. Thank you so much. I legit took a two and a half hour, hour nap and you're still streaming. Why wouldn't I be streaming? Okay, let's just go here, I guess. A6, king, b8. I feel like Joe Bob has misplayed this a little bit. It should have been it should have been winning some somehow. I think maybe it should have gone to the king side, not the queen side. Who's knight of five? I guess I just developed my knight. Let's go here, knight e4, maybe. Although I just gave him h4. Yeah, now I just blundered. Yeah, exactly. Right on cue, I blundered. Although I do have this to hit the rook, I guess. Is there some way I can give this up is what I'm wondering. Is there some way I can just gambit something here? Don't really want to play knight of four. I don't really want to take... No, he's got knight d4. Can I go knight e5? I'm trying to find something randomly weird that I can do. Because I feel like the time is a big problem for me here. I'm just trying to... I'm trying to blitz him. Go here. Go here. He's kind of misplayed this, I think, though. Although I should not have gone there because now he's got queen a4. Wait, I can take.
Should have taken the... I don't know what I should have taken. <sighs> Trying too hard to press this, and now, now, now I'm probably going to lose. Also, the king on a8, not, not b8. That's like... 97, and I, I mean, I'm just, I have nothing. Takes queen here. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Through this game. Let's go here. Yeah, no, I, I, I kind of, I lost the thread. After that first loss, I just started getting too, too, I started playing too randomly. Oh, I do have D3 here, maybe? Last gasp? Rook D3, maybe he just blundered. Actually, this was a mistake. It's not necessarily anything special, but I have a, a prayer now after Rook D3. Because I also have Queen G5, Queen D2. I have right triangles galore. I also have bishop e5. I think he kind of blundered somehow. I don't even know how, but bishop a5 was a blunder. All you need is a chip and a chair. Yeah, see, but the thing is now I have bishop e5 also. Like, this is insane. Somehow I'm back in the game. <coughs> back in the game because I have check and mate. Um, it was insane. Wait, this can't work. This must be losing. Wait a second. This must be losing. Let's go b4. Yeah, he just blundered this. This is unbelievable because now I have a checkmate. Wow. 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 I actually don't know how he did this. This was so winning. Bishop a5 was just a huge mistake. Somehow Bishop a5 threw the whole game. I guess now I'm back in the back in the event, perhaps. I mean, the top two guys I'm pretty sure don't count. Um, I don't know about this guy either, but it feels like it's a run. It's between Big Fish and I, so... If I can win this game... Oh, Big Fish just lost his game, by the way. So actually, if I win, it is very much a game now. Let's go. Wait, it's king and knight switch? Oh, this is like too realistic. There's only a king and a knight switch. Oh my gosh. This is like literally. This is literally like a real game. I just moved the bishop castle and it's like just a standard uh standard position. That's a little unfortunate. I'm not happy that, that we got such a natural position here. Let's go here. Let's go here and maybe takes a knight f6. Or knight c6, I should say. Takes knight six. Don't I have e5, e4? Wait a second. E5, e4 takes. No, it doesn't work. Okay, let's just take. This is such an this is actually like a real position. This could happen in a normal game all the time. Let's go here. Stop bishop g5. I'm gonna castle. Maybe knight b4. Just go, let's just go here and trade. I mean, it's takes with a rook, which I'm actually kind of happy about because now it's going to be at least a game. Takes with a pawn and makes it symmetrical. It's very hard to play. So I'll just take and go 94. See, seven, I just wait, I just castle or do I wait? F6, queen g4. Wait a second. I got to be a little bit careful here. This is insane by me. Again, another insane decision. <sighs> I'm going to go here. Queen g4, I always have h5, I think, or something. Don't feel like I'm playing good chess at the moment. Let's go f6. I mean, there's probably some trick with h4 that I'm just blundering here. If I castle, he's got a four or something. What am I even doing this game? I also, I guess I'll just go here, whatever. Maybe I have rook h6, g6 or something. I'm going to go queen e8. Try to run my queen out this way. Now I think it's maybe okay, because if I get queen g6... 
It's also knight h3. I don't really want to take. Let's go here. Takes and king h7, I guess. Now I've got a threat here. I also have 94. I also have a very weird back rank checkmate here. Do I go queen f5 or 94? I'm going to go 94. Hit the pawn. I'm just going to move my king and get, get out of dodge as fast as I can here. Oh, that's a blunder. Check and take. There we go. Good. Good. We're back in business. Let's go. Wait, h4, bishop h4. I have to be careful, though. h4, bishop h4. Okay, let's just go here. Consolidate it. Queen c4. Let's go here. Takes. I have... Oh, I thought I had rook c4. Wait, what? Rook c4, d8, king eight. Oh, wait, rook c4, rook d8, king h7, take. It's a mistake. Okay, let's just go here, force the queens off the board, and then rook c2 should be winning. Gotta win this game fast, though. Okay, let's go here. Go here, go here. Let's let's activate my rook. This way, b5. Just take, and now I should be winning because now I've got two pawns. He's got a 4v2 on this side, but it's not going to be enough. Let's just let's just roll them, roll the pawns. Let's go here. Go for the double stack on the seventh. I guess I just go like here. Let's go here. I want to go rook f2. Let's go here. Hit the bishop. Stupid. Let's go check me rook here. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. Go check. Somehow this is not. I uh, just gotta move. Let's go here. I run the king up. Here, hit the bishop. Go again. Get a win. Another win. Yeah, he. I was down on time. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. F four knight. F three. Maybe G three. Guess I'll just go e4, build a big center here as fast as I can. Wait, this is a free pawn, isn't it? Or I guess he can take on g3. Wait, let's go. Just go here. I think I'm just going to go knight here maybe and take with a bishop. Let's go here, hit the pawn. Oh, he's got bishop d7. Shoot, he's holding. I didn't realize he was holding the pawn there. Okay, let's go here. Really weird putting my bishops in the corner pocket like this, but I think it's playable. Let's go here. I'm going to castle. Okay, let's go here, force a trade of bishops. So I'll go, um, ah, he wants 96 now. This makes sense. Is there a way for me to stop it exactly? Not really. So I just go here and bishop e5. Let's take. Takes with a pawn. Okay, let's go queen g1 maybe. 
And now I target the pawn. I also have knight b5. If he pushes, I can tango knight b5. Knight g4. Pretty logical move, actually. Very logical. Okay, let's just... Um, okay, let's just go here and here. I have still bishop e5. I think I've got to trade the bishops, because this bishop is not good on g4. And now I can probably rotate my knight and play against this weak pawn. Let's go here. Knight e3 or knight f2. Should be good. Thank you to clone for the 11 months. Thank you so much, clone. Appreciate it. Thank you. I have queen g4 and rookie two. Yeah, let's just double stack it. I always have rook h5. I don't really want to do that, though. Okay, let's just go here. Sidestep. Probably I'll go f5. Okay, let's go a4. I do have f5 here. I mean, rook h5 is actually probably quite clean. Let's go here and here, maybe. It's rook d8. Okay, let's go queen f1. Maybe d4 is an idea. Maybe just f5, g4, g5 also. Just go. Let's just go. F5, F6. That's a free pawn. Let's go here. Oh, the, uh, let's go here. Hit the queen. He's going to go king A5. He is, right? Yeah, of course he is. Let's go here to go for checkmate. Let's go here to take the pawn. Wait, I have to be a little bit careful here. This is definitely winning, but I have to be a touch careful. Or more than a touch. Okay, let's just go here on queen e2. Keep it really simple. Let's go check. Let's go here, I guess, and collect the pawn. Should be pretty clean. Let's go here. King is a little bit open, but I mean, that's just a blunder, right? It, this must be just losing. Let's go here, I guess. Hmm. Okay, we get the dub. I'm um, slowly climbing the leaderboard, slowly. Okay, Big Fish just lost again, I guess, so. Okay, 1941. Okay, we're playing Anna Crampling. Okay. Uh, I, I do want to win this game quickly. I'm going to play fast again. How is she 1941? Because uh, this is Fisher Random, so the ratings are all naturally lower. She's got a take, right? Okay, I go here. I mean, she's looking to castle is, is also a question. I might try to sauce her in the center immediately. Let's just go here. I mean, I also have D5, but I have to be careful that I don't get castled into an attack. go back oh she's freaking out okay <laughs> yeah I'm definitely gonna play in the center I mean she might just castle I don't know because she's knight c3 is a good move okay, e4 is also a good move I'm just gonna get aggressive I'm gonna try to really attack immediately in the center of the board try to make confused matters because the more complicated the position becomes the more likely it is that I'll win a quick game and I really do want to win this game quickly to move into the move into the hunt Queen e3, I go here, hit the pawn. Knight f4, queen h6, and bishop g5. e5, knight f5. Now there's not now there's this is a big threat here. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna castle here. Probably rook e8 is a good move too. Let's go here. I'm gonna go for some cheese. Big cheese, knight f5, bishop c5.
Somehow she's still okay, I guess, after queen d3. I probably should have just taken the pawn on e4. Okay, still it should be winning. Knight, knight, knight takes g2. A lot of weaknesses here. Let's go here, checkmate and fork. The variation itself wasn't a cheese, to be clear, but um, yeah, I'm just trying to win games fast, basically. I'm gonna just take and check. Now I win the rooks. Check me. Let's go again. Thank you to Senpai for the prime. Thank you so much to Senpai. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, again, same dude. Let's go B3. Okay, let's go C4, D4, E3, I guess. Let's play Knight F3. Let's take the center. Kind of. Let's go here. I mean, maybe he just goes E6. I do have Bishop E5 tricks. Uh, Bishop E5 was winning the game, by the way. Stupid. Okay, let's just uh, let's just. I don't. I don't really want to play D4, but I will. I just missed a win. In this position, I go Bishop C5 and C5, and I would have won that game. Maybe I just go. Actually, you know what? His bishop is so bad on a8 that I'm willing to close the center here, because his bishop is his bishop wasn't on a8, then it would be different. But the bishop on a8, so it's actually really bad for bad for black. If the bishop was nor on a normal square, this wouldn't matter. But with the bishop on a8, it's stuck behind the huge. It's this pawn wall is just going to kill black's position basically. I'm just going to go here. Okay, I can play e4. I can also go like h4. He's really desperate to play e5, but I don't care. I'll just castle. He does e5, so I take. Let's take. That's a wait, that's a free pawn. I mean, I guess he takes, yeah. Let's go a four knight h5, I guess, or knight f5 even. Actually, this looks really good with knight d6. I mean, you can take, but. This should not be good for black. I'm just going to go e4 and smash the center of the board. Maybe I go e5. I think I just take. Let's just move the king. I'm actually not playing this wonderfully, but it should be good enough to win. Queen c3. Okay, now I don't want to take. I don't want to play rook d7. This looks fine. Just here in rook d7. Take the pawn. Pretty clean. I can also take this. Bishop d5. Bishop d5, rook c5. Bishop d7, rook d6, and bishop d3. Yeah, this is good. Let's take the open lines with my rooks. And um, this should be pretty, pretty smooth. Let's go here. Put the rook on a light square instead of a dark square. Goes there. Um, I think I just go here, hit the pawn, and then rook d6. Or wait, there's bishop e7. I got to be a little bit careful of that, that I don't just pre move rook d6 and hang hang the house. Somehow, big fish won a second game in like ten seconds. Let's go here. Let's go here. Good checkmate. Let's go again. Next game. Good win. One more, and then we're up into third. Thank you to Woozy for the two as well. Thanks so much to Woozy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, BV Pranav. Okay, no more messing around. Now it's time to be serious. No more messing around. Okay, let's go C5. I had bishop e5 that just won the game. What am I doing? I, that's the second time in a row that I've had a win in the opening, and I've just completely forgotten about the win. This is just like that last game against Oily, where I had just a forced win. I just missed it completely. Let's go here. Yeah, like I literally just I literally go bishop e5, and he just resigns, and I and I get four points in like thirty in like thirty seconds. Just like that last game against Oily, where I just did that insane, completely insane. 
Yeah, let's just develop, I guess, in Castle. Okay, I mean, he's giving me a chance again. I'm going to go here and take... Oh, I gave him a four now. Let's blunder it again. Okay, I can castle, of course. I guess I have knight f6. Yeah, I'm getting annoyed. I'm just, I don't know why. I'm getting annoyed when I miss these ones. I see everything like one second after it happens, and then it's like tilting me out of my mind right now. But it's fine. I mean, I, how did Big Fish win another game so fast, though? He literally won like two games in like two minutes there. That's crazy. He must have won in the opening. Let's just go here and here. I mean, I have bishop b6. Okay, he goes bishop b2. Do I want to play rook e8 or not is a question. I can also go, like... don't really want to take either. I should just move, just move, just move. Yeah, I expected that. Let's go here. Getting very frustrated with my play now. It's a free pawn if I want it, but he does get rookie one. But then I, what's his threat? F5, is that his idea? Wait. I'm probably gonna blunder again against this guy undoubtedly, but let's see. Wait, he's got, yeah, he's got bishop g6. There's no mate, right? There is a mate, of course. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I had a feeling there was a mate and there was, oh no, I have checked, oh! Oh wow! I okay. This makes up. This makes up. Oh man, I'm so lucky. This makes up. He's he's lost now. This makes up for everything. There's a, there's a miracle. Rookie seven. It's still a game because rooks can come off, but he's gonna he's gonna be behind here in this end game. This makes up. This makes up for the last one. All plan? No. I mean, this makes up for at least one of the losses. Yeah. Yeah. This makes up for everything. Now I go here and now, now I should actually win the game if I play this correctly, which of, still is no guarantee. I've been playing pretty poorly so far. Um, I can go rookie eight. I mean, this is still not a gimme. Let's go rookie eight. Not by any stretch. I have rookie five maybe. Yeah, I think rookie five is good because now I'm going to win the pawn. There you go. I have to be careful not to get made. It's still, it's still tricky. There's still a lot of lurking tactics here. I have to be very careful. Let's go here. Rookie three is a logical move. I'm not going to go a4. I can play e4. Bishop d7s. Yeah, actually, e4 is a good move here. So I can run the king up. Let's go. Oh, this is actually not easy, though. This is very tricky still. Let's go. I guess let's go here and take. Still quite tricky. But now I just check and I take. And now, now, now I just win the game. Yeah, let's go here. And now I just win here and king e5. Okay. I mean, this this makes up for the previous one at least. Let's go here. Yeah. He'll resign now, I think. Yeah. Okay, it's a good win. Good win. Oh, his opponent resigned after playing a couple moves in the opening. Is that how he got a quick win? Okay. Fair enough. Why is he untitled? I don't know. Oh, well, we got Big Fish. Did he win? Mm, did he win? Wait, no, I can't see it. Wait, what? No, he didn't win. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go here. It's a weird starting position. No, he's on 70, so he didn't. So if I draw this game, it's completely fine. 
Just don't don't flub it, basically. Because I, I think we're playing for first prize. I don't honestly know about the other two guys, but I'm assuming these top two guys don't count. It's just my guess. Although I've got a pretty miserable position out of this opening. This is not what I was hoping for at all. The good news is his, his pieces are not well placed. Like his knight on h8 is not well placed here for this middle game, resulting middle game. Let's just castle. Oh, and I gave him f5 though. I should have gone e, f4, e4 right away. Let's go here. Why didn't I just go f4, e4? So insane of me. Post move clarity is strong today. Yeah, I mean I'm seeing a lot of things like after the fact, and it's it's actually bothering me quite a bit. Let's go here and bishop e2. Uh, and again, I miss knight c4. Another another good move that I just completely overlooked. Probably gonna lose this game because I'm I, I'm getting annoyed every single time that I miss something now. Even even that game against Pranav, which I won, I'm just I'm I'm annoyed by it. Queen c2. What's this move? Knight e3. I mean, 93, and I'm just lost. What am I even doing? I do have f4, maybe. f4, queen, e7. Whatever, just move, just move, just move. But I'm getting really I'm getting really annoyed, and I think you guys can probably tell that I'm just I'm getting annoyed by every blunder that I make, and it's it's quite quite upsetting. Just don't be annoyed, yeah. Thank you, Bowler Seed. Thank you, Jorms, for the primes. I mean, this game is going to decide the event, though. So I don't think these top two guys are in the running for the prizes. Um, so I'm pretty sure that if I win this game, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that I win the event, but honestly, I have no clue. So we'll see. Interesting. I'll go here. And I do oh, de no, F4 is no good. Okay, let's go here. It's not so bad, actually. Maybe not so bad. I bishop two e 4 It's not great, but it could be worse, maybe. Okay, if I go bishop f2, bishop e3, I mean... It's a pawn. Let's go f4. Let's go. Do I have e4? I think I do. Let's play it. I can play e5, or do I go e5? Don't think I take. I think I go e5 here. It goes knight b5. I didn't even see that actually. Wow, I did not even see that as a move. Okay, let's go here. Didn't even see that he could go that way. Wow. Well, first of all, there's a free P. Oh, wait. Should be two, rook f2, and then knight d6. Bishop f2, bishop e2. Let's go here. Because I think I can take this one. He just blundered. Yes, he, he he just blundered, but it's still very very wild here. Or did he blunder? Because he has bishop f4. No, he didn't blunder. <sighs> Thought he just blundered, but I'm the one who blundered instead. Why am I missing everything today? This is so upsetting. Wait, I do have e6, however. Let's throw it in. Let's flick it. It's not a knight b5. Rook, rook e1. Wait, I also have check. Wait a second, wait a second. I also have check. If bishop h4... Oh, oh, I'm too slow. I'm too slow. What, I'm just too slow. I just realized I've got no time. What am I even doing? I just, like... Jeez, how, how am I so slow? Completely insane. I'm gonna make a draw. Unreal. Yeah, it's fine. Not good. Not good at all. 
You must have, yeah. Yeah. You must have Arena Kings in the title, yeah. I get the draw, which actually is important, because if I don't draw that, I, I, I probably lose this anyway. Bortnick is, Bortnick's trying to catch up too, though, I just realized. So I'm probably not going to even finish second, but, or first, but whatever. Oh, I've got to be careful. Let's go here. Probably I was winning that game at some point, but it was so, so messy. And I was moving as slow as molasses. Let's go here. I feel like I should have some tactics. Let's go here. Let's just go for the, let's just attack the center of the board here. Big Fish must be pretty upset though, because he, he probably was winning that game at some point. I, I mean, I know I'd be pretty upset there because I had no time. He like, he was probably winning and, and so forth. I can go bishop a3. I can also check. Wait. Let's make a check here. Because I have bishop a3 also. Who will block me? Oh, Big Fish will block me? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, he should have won that game. Yeah, I know Borna could pass me, but I, I'm, I'm, I, I've played such bad chess today that I'm really not that frustrated by any of this. Um, I have Bishop A3. I think I'm just going to take and castle. There are a lot of threats here, like Bishop A3, Bishop B4. I mean, but is he in time? Kind of, not really. Also, I have to play good chess tomorrow. If I play good chess tomorrow... Like, that's that's all you can ask for. So if I play badly today, that, that's actually a good sign for tomorrow. Okay, how do I do this exactly? B4 is a move. I'm just going to go for the double. He's going to castle, though. I let him off the hook. I let him off the hook. Oh, he does that. I didn't expect that. Let's go here. I want to go rook c8. Maybe I have B4 or something. I want to go Rook C1. I also want to go Queen C5. How did I not have a win? Let's go here and hit the Bishop. Knight F7 maybe? If he takes, I have Rook C1 and takes. I mean, I have way more time than Krikor. Is he not going to resign this? Those a question. Please resign. Oh. Oh, and I get an unpleasant pairing here. I wanted to get Bortnik and I get the other I get I just have to go fast. I just have to go fast here and hope. It's not gonna work, but I, I just have to go fast and hope. I was hoping that I I was hoping that I would get um that that I would get uh Got Bortnik, but I didn't get him. Of course, I've got a bad position, but it doesn't even matter because I have to win this game. Uh, it doesn't matter if I lose this game, so I just got to go fast and just hope. 
just got to go fast doesn't matter even if i lose this game it doesn't matter i just have to go fast and hope because big fish can't catch me anyway yeah it's probably just i'm just gonna go here and try i just have to move fast i mean again if i if i burn out my whole clock then that doesn't i mean i won't lose the game regardless but he's got less time than me it's a good move too just move fast and try to do something let's move the king he's still got less time than me so i just blundered this pawn too. Eh, whatever it doesn't matter gonna finish second moving quick trying to create some counterplay here I mean because basically I can run the clock out if if I get a losing position where I don't lose the game but he's got less on the clock 136 versus 215. Uh, let's go here and here maybe I know I've got something here wait let's just take I can't I really can't think though that's the problem I just have to go fast and, and hope I just can't think at this point so odds of me blundering here are very high, but if I do, then I just, the clock runs out. I just got this and there's no, no tricks, right? That's gonna um I'm still like, actually wait no no I still have a chance. I still have a chance maybe. Just gotta move really fast here. Go, 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 go. Still seventeen seconds. oh it's a draw oh man ah it's a draw that was a threefold ah <sighs> uh. I don't think I would have won it though. There, there was, there was, there, there wasn't probably enough time to win. But anyway, uh, I didn't realize that was a threefold. But I, I think it was like ten second differential. I would have tried. I don't think I would have gotten it done, but it would have been exciting. Oh, offer a draw. Oh, that's true. I can't offer a draw. Yeah, I can't offer a draw. Yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. I can't, I can't offer a draw. But I get third, I, I, or I get second, I think. So I'm pretty sure these top two guys are not streaming, but um, but yeah. Oh, Jossman could resign. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to win like that. Uh, technically, it's second because these two guys I'm pretty sure don't count. But um, Bort Bortnick, I think Bortnick finishes ahead of me. So yeah, that's how it goes. Um, anyway, whatever. That's life. All right, you guys. I'm gonna call it a day. Um, it, 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 I mean, it could it could have been better, but uh, he's not partnered though. He's he's not partnered. E-Man is not streaming. Yeah, he's, he's also not partnered. But yeah, I think I finished second after Bortnick happens. Um, not a big deal. But going to call it a day.